Hi guys, it's Jessica here for a box opening that I now realize I need to hurry up because <laughs> I just got a phone call uh, that people are coming to work on the house and I didn't know about it and I gotta get ready for them. But I wanna film this really quick before I do. Um, this is the box opening for my Sienna Tan Oryx. Uh, so Artifacts Kindred is um, the company uh, and uh, Twiggly Norris is the artist. Um, and so this is a, uh, a Twiggling Oryx in Sienna Tan. And this is my Keon. Uh, the doll that I sold, I think this is the only Twiggling I've ever sold ever. Um, I sold, she was in the pink normal skin. I sold her earlier this year. And as soon as I had the money from that, I turned around and ordered this girl. So this was ordered in February. Um, was it February? I think it was February that I ordered her. Um, and uh, Dolls Casting Service, which is the Russian caster that Twiggling has been using the last few years. Um, they make beautiful dolls. I have other dolls that they've casted from other artists as well. Um, they, they do a lot of artist dolls. Um, that's, as far as I know, that's all they do is artist dolls. They don't, they're not, a, they don't do any company stuff. Um, I'm trying not to turn this over because it's got all the stuff on it. So I'll have to probably put it in my lap for a minute to open this part with all of the addresses. So there's some other stuff in here too. Um, and I will show you that. I should have brought, oh, yeah. <laughs> the things I wanted to do to get ready for this video. Yeah, <laughs> I might even have to split it up. Oh, okay, it opens this way anyways. So I did have it the right way. It, how nice. So all the labels are underneath and here we go. Um, I know that there is going to be <laughs> a lot of peanuts in here. Okay. Let's get this in. Yep. Oh, no peanuts this time. Oh yeah, there's some on the bottom. Um, okay, yeah, so there's a doll in here and there are some other things too that aren't dolls, but part of dolls. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Okay, so this feels like a doll. So I will set her aside here in this chair and fish out everything. Here is a something. Here is our COA. And here is another something that I will share with you in a minute. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I think I've got everything out of here. I have saved all of these though um, for shipping for storage if I need them but the few times that I have sold dolls I these are great for for shipping because um, they're very secure um, I tape this all up though she doesn't she doesn't tape that part but I guess especially shipping oops I'll have to cut that part out <laughs> okay so shipping international um, it's nice not to have that taped uh, because if it got opened by customs, they would totally freaking destroy it. Like they, they don't, they just aren't careful. All the customs that I've had experience with. So I do understand Shipping International having this box that is relatively easy to open and access what's inside. Um, I'm going to set this aside so that I don't flash any more addresses. <laughs> okay. Um, so these were, I'll, I'll start with these. I'll open these because they're kind of the surprise. Um, 
There will be doll nudity. This is a doll box opening and in the ball jointed doll hospi uh, hospital, uh, the, in the ball jointed doll um, hobby, dolls are shipped naked, even if they come with a full set with wig and outfit, the outfit is always packaged separately. The dog is never, the doll is never shipped in those things. Um, so here is beautiful certificate of authenticity with this beautiful artwork um, that is, doesn't say here who, um, Winter Deer Green, I'm pretty sure, made these illustrations. Um, and actually this doll has a face up by her. Um, so there we go. Um, Sienna Tan, casted by DCS. Um, it's DCS number seven is the color. Uh, short hip, short legs and original hands and the C bust. Um, I love the big bust and the last few dolls I've ordered have been on the big bust. Uh, but for this character, the, um, the little bit smaller bust size was more appropriate for her. And people have, people ask me all the time, uh, what character is this, you know, this doll here, what character is that? And I would say when I first got into the ball jointed doll hobby, all of the dolls that I bought were characters. Um, they were either characters that existed or characters that I assigned to them. I am far past the point of having dolls that represent characters at this point. I still have those and those are very loved. Ah. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I tossed these straps on the ground, um, and I don't necessarily want her chewing on those, um, but I'll give them some cardboard later to chew on, under supervision, always under supervision. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> where was I? I lost my place. Uh, anyways, yes, uh, I have dolls that are characters, but the vast majority of the dolls that I have at this point in my collection don't have characters assigned to them. Um, so. But this girl is one. Uh, she is Kian, and she is a character in my stories. Um, but these are ta-da! So, and I'll show you the other one. These are short hip pieces, or short waist. I think that that describes better, that will go to um, my gray gamine and my teal elbe. Um, now these were different runs, and so, well this one I, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember now, I have to go check my notes and what I said, um, but I, I think that this one is the same, uh, hi Lola, this is the same casting where she hadn't made modifications for this gray gamine. Um, the teal elbe was definitely uh, one further back that she's made several modifications differently, but I tried it out between the different, um, she, every time she gets them back from the casting company, she makes modifications and sends the masters back to be casted. So each generation is, has, is different. Um, so this is an older generation of her body, um, but I did test and it, uh, it, it works. It doesn't look the same as the others, but it works. It articulates. I think it looks pretty. Um, and this isn't going to be a perfect match uh, resin-wise, uh, but I'm okay with that. Um, and this will be a perfect match because it's the same casting. Uh, but I, both of those dolls are short legs and they had a long hip or the long waist. And I don't care for that confirmation. Um, and so uh, Reese was kind enough to let me order these um, and uh, just buy the part so that I could uh, switch out those those bodies. Um, and I don't know what I'll do with their piece. I, may, I probably will keep it, maybe sell it. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I'll probably keep them. <laughs> uh, but on to the main uh, event.
So here. Hi, what you got? Got a little stick? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get this back here. Sorry for the vertigo. Um, so those are my Minonginews and some pygmies. I want to make a video uh, kind of devoted to um, my yarn crafts and the things I've been making. Crochet and now since the end of August I've been teaching myself how to um, how to knit. Um, and I really, really enjoy, really, really enjoy knitting. Um, this house is getting overrun with yarn. <laughs> uh, okay. her head. Um, often the hands are not attached. I have to go looking and see if they're not here. Um, I don't want to give this, well, here, I'll give it to them. I'm right here. I just like to watch them. <laughs> Here's the cardboard. Um, I like to watch them and make sure they're in my vision. Do what? Oh, I got everyone's afraid of it. <laughs> Oh, she's afraid. Um, Let's go, Arlen. Here. No, it's scary. See? Lola's playing with it. Get it. <laughs> oh, I've traumatized her. Uh, let's open this. Um, in the past, I, I, my memory is that she always ships the hands separately. Uh, they aren't. Uh, they aren't. Artic they aren't articulated, you usually have to put on. That was the other thing I forgot to bring down here. Um, was, there we go. Oh, I love Oryx. I love Oryx. Um, I have to say, I think after Ingenue, um, Oryx is probably my favorite. I don't know, I like, I like Eloy a lot. Probably Eloy and Twiggling are probably my favorite, <laughs> um, but of her newer sculpts, um, Oryx is just my my favorite. She's so beautiful. I would love to have her with elf ears. Um, she's got little teeth. I love her face shape and eyes. Just beautiful. Um, and. Uh, Um, Kion is a Tibetan origin character. She's fantasy based, but I consider her ethnic wise. Oh, here's the hands. Here they are. In the past, she's shipped them in, they've been in these little boxes. She's done different methods. Um, but I appreciate, uh, that they are not shipped with their hands attached because I have had, um, not by her, but a doll shipped to me, a twiggling doll with the hands articulated and they arrived broken. And I still, I've never, I'll never get over that trauma because those hands were irreplaceable. Um, and then I, I shipped a doll to somebody uh, and the hands arrived just absolutely mangled they were just broken to pieces despite in my thought being wrapped extremely well um, and I ordered new hands for them uh, so that they they had hands for their doll <laughs> uh, but yes um, these big dolls you just cannot protect their hands um, they need to be individually wrapped um, and not articulated on the doll it's just too dangerous you might be, you might make it okay and not have a problem, but there's a good chance that you will. So, um. so she, uh, this is her traditional method. These poor dolls, they, they're like arrive, but it's safer for them that way. Oh my gosh! And so she very kindly. Um, 
suede uh, this girl. Oh, I love, I love her. I love the short legs so much, the short leg body. Um, <laughs> and so you gotta kinda get them going after they dry a little bit on the shipment. Um, but yeah, work all the joints so that they are mobile again. But uh, um, I'll probably pause this a second so that I can go. Can you hear Lola chewing up that <laughs> Oh, she's so beautiful. This resin tone is gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, let me uh, let me go upstairs and grab um, uh, some stringing stuff um, so I can put on these hands. Um, oh, gorgeous! So I love the original hands. Um, I have almost. I do the, the relaxed hands are are there are okay. Um, they're not they're not bad, but I don't know for me like it, it's not a twig lane unless it has the original hands <laughs> like that part. Um, I just uh, uh, and I and I don't care for the um, the new long finger. Uh, um, uh, I've had some dolls that have came with those and I just didn't care for them. Uh, so I've replaced any doll that I've gotten secondhand that came with those. I've replaced them. Um, at this point, they've all, they all have, everybody at this point has original hands, uh, everyone, in my every, everyone in my collection. Um, so this girl is lovely. Um, I am in love, I'm in love. <laughs> um, and so I did this, which uh, I feel kind of crazy for doing it, but I, the other crazy thing that I'm, contemplating doing is ordering a, a set of short legs for um, uh, for the, the latest two girls that came in. Uh, the latest two girls are long-legged um, and they're gorgeous but they're so big and I do like the smaller girls um, and and it just uh, the the feel of this girl in my hands like right away I was like oh I just love this I this is this is what I love the most um, is these short shorter girls um, they just they just feel more balanced in the hand um, the the big girls are absolutely lovely and I love the aesthetics and the line of the long legs. Um, and the short legs aren't perfect of everything. I think that they really need to wear heels um, that uh, uh, I don't think they look good in boots. It makes the legs look too short. So they need, they need that uh, long um, of heels, pumps, that sort of thing. But okay, that's my, <laughs> that's my rambling. Um, okay, let me uh, go grab those. I'll be back in a minute. 